In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use a local Git repo to manage versions of our project instead of using folders, which as demonstrated here, is what I used to do. Although folders are intuitive, a version control system like Git can lead to better organization and more flexibility throughout development. This is my desktop. In the top left, you'll see a black text editor called Atom. In the top right, a web browser, and in the bottom right, a terminal window. We've just made a new directory called project, and we're about to add one project file called index.html. Now let's toss the HTML file into the text editor and write some boilerplate code. In the header tags, we've added a link to Font Awesome, and in the body, we're going to add Font Awesome's GitHub icon. We initialize our git repo, then we look at it using git status. We see our index.html file and another file that we don't recognize. We don't want .ds store to be in our git repository, so we're going to add a git ignore file. We've now set up our git repo and we have our basic project files laid out. Let's make our first commit and call it v1 for version 1. When we type the command git log, we can see our first commit is right there as version 1. Now let's make some changes to the project and then another commit. Our cat is now a light green color. Let's type git status and see what's changed. Git status reveals that we modified the index.html file. Let's add that file and then commit a version 2. Using the command git log now, we see both our commits. Let's make some more changes and then a version 3. Purple and black looks pretty good, but let's say we made a version that we didn't like. Let's see how we can roll back to a previous commit. Our git file now contains four commits, the last of which we don't like. Let's move back to the purple and black commit. One way to accomplish this is to type git reset hard and then the hash of the commit. After issuing the git reset command, we'll take another look at our git log and realize that the fourth commit is gone and our repo now only contains the first three commits. So we tried making our logo gold, but we didn't like it. So we got rid of the fourth commit and lost the work that we did. But what if we wanted to keep our project as it is and try out a new feature? and then switch back and forth between the new feature and the current version of the project without losing any code. We can accomplish this by making a new branch, which I'll now demonstrate. We can name the branch whatever we want and switch to it using git checkout and the branch name. The new branch is now a complete copy of our project Let's make some changes on this new branch, and then a commit. We've just made a commit on our new branch. Let's switch back to master and verify that that branch remains unchanged. When we switch back and refresh the browser, we see our old project. Let's use git log to check out the commits. The list of commits contains only three, which doesn't contain the commit that we just made on our other branch. 
When we switch back to our new branch, our project also changes when we refresh the browser. We decide that we like these changes and we want them to be part of our central project. So let's switch back to master and merge the changes. The changes have now been merged. When we say git log on our master branch, we see all four commits, and the most recent one is the blue and orange version. Now that we've finished merging the changes to master, we can delete the blue and orange branch and continue development. This concludes our tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning how to use git as version control instead of folders.